Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is second largest digit in a string. In this question, we're given a string S which contains alphanumeric characters. We have to return the second largest numerical digit that appears in the string S. If there is no second largest digit, we have to return minus one as the output. So if you're given this example, you get the output as two. So two is the second largest number among the numbers present. The numbers present here are one, two, and three. And clearly two is the second largest number. So that is the output. So let's take a look at the working of this example. So let's take a look at the steps we need to follow to solve this problem. First, we have to create a hash set of integer. We are using the fact that hash set cannot contain duplicates. That is why we are using a hash set here. Because what if all the numbers were same and how will you distinguish that there is a second largest number or not? That is the intuition behind it. Now we have to iterate through the string as from start to end so that we can access each character at a time. And then we have to judge if that character is a digit or not. So I'm going to first access the character ch in each iteration and store it inside a variable ch of character data type. And now I'm I'm going to check if the ch is a digit using the isDigit method of the character class. If it is a digit, then I'm going to push that character into a hash set. Note that the hash set contains integer and we are accessing a character data type. So before pushing that character into a hash set, we have to convert it into an integer. You can use inbuilt methods to convert into an integer. Now that we have all the necessary digits inside the hash set without duplicates so that you can directly distinguish the second largest number if it is present. To know the second largest number, you can clearly sort the list in ascending order. The second index position from the right will be the answer, right? Because the last index position will be holding the largest number and, and the left one to it will hold the second largest number. So now we have a problem. We cannot sort a hash set because hash set cannot be sorted. So I'm going to create an array list which will contain the same elements as the hash set just for the fact that you can sort the list and not a hash set. I'm storing all the same elements into a list and now we have to sort this list in ascending order so that you can access the second largest number which is present at the second index position from the right. And now before accessing that second largest number and returning it, you have to check if the size of the list is less than two. If it is less than two, it means that there is no second largest number. There is only one element in the list, which is the largest, obviously, because it is the lonely number. The size of the list is less than two. You can return false. Else you can access the second largest number and return it as the output. Let's take this example here. We have the two data structures ready, which are initially empty. First, we have to access the digits and place it inside the hash set. So I'm going to start from here. It's not a digit. It's not a digit. It's not a digit. It is a digit. So add it into the hash set. It is a digit, so add it into the hash set. This is also a digit, so add it into the hash set. This is also a digit, but two is already present inside the hash set. As I've already mentioned, hash set does not store duplicates. Two won't be stored inside there. This is also a digit, but one is already present. So it won't take that element into the hash set. This is not a digit. This is not a digit. This is not a digit. And finally, we reach the end. So this is what the hash set will contain. So the next step is to add the same elements and store it inside a list. I've stored these elements inside a list because I have to sort these elements. Coincidentally, these elements are already sorted, but I'm explaining you the working, how it's happening. You can take for any other example and check it. And now we have to sort the list in ascending order. It's already sorted. So this is what the sorted list will contain. Now we have to check if the size of this list is greater than two. Yes, it is greater than two. So you can access the second largest number. That is the second number from the right and return it as the output. Now let's try for this example. This is not a digit. This is also not a digit. This is also not a digit. One is a digit. So add it into the hash set. This is a digit, but one is already present. You have a one again, which is already present. And you have another one, which is already present. And you reach the end. And this is the lonely number present inside the hash set. So let's continue the further steps. You have to convert the has set into a list. You place the element into the list. Now you have to sort the list. And now before accessing the second largest number, you're placing a check here that if the size of the list is less than two, you can return false. Actually, it is minus one instead of false because they have mentioned here. Since the size of the list is less than two, you can return minus one as the output. I hope you understood the logic. Now let's implement these steps step by step in a Java program and read code. The first step is to create a has set. So this hash set will contain integers. So now let's iterate through the input s, where i will start from 0 and it will iterate till end of the string. 
Now let's access the ith index position for each iteration and place it inside a character variable ch. So s dot char hat of i. And now we have to check if the ch is a digit. So if character not is digit of ch. If it is a digit, we have to convert this character into an integer because the set contains integers and place it inside the set. Set dot add convert this into an integer so character dot get numeric value of ch. So now you have the hash set ready with the element. Now you have to place the same elements inside a list. First let's create the list. And you can directly place the elements inside the list by placing the set here. Now to sort the list in ascending order, you can use the sort method of the collections class. So collections.sort of the data structure that is list. Now we have the elements in sorted order. Now before returning the second largest element, you have to do a quick check that the size of the list is greater than 2. If list.size is less than 2, they ask us to return minus 1. So return minus 1. Else you can return the result. So int result list dot get of we are accessing the list and we are getting the element which is at the second index position from the right list dot size we are going till the end minus 2 because index position start from 0 and when you do minus 2 you will come at the second element from the right now you can return this result now let's try to run the code there you have it we are getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it, our solution has been accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n log n because you are sorting the array and also you are iterating through it. And the space complexity is O of n where n is the length of the string s. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.